Hi, this is Brother Bryce, and I'm here to walk you through how to import HTML5 games and interactions. Now, HTML5 uh, files can come from various places. However, today I will talk specifically on the published files from Adobe Edge Animate. The best way to insert the file is into Captivate is through using a web window. The first step um, is probably the most difficult and if you're unfamiliar with the FTP servers uh, you might need additional help from your hosting service or your technical department but I'll run through real quick on how do I accomplish that first off you need a um, FTP client I use FileZilla and basically I locate the lo location that I want to place my game or interaction I'm using Shootout, the game Shootout from our library. Now I already have the published files from Edge Animate and um, they're right here. All I need to do is open up where the location is, select all these files and folders and bring them into the location that I want it at. Um, I want it uh, currently at Course Demo Templates Shootout. It's just like all your other file folder structures in, um, in anywhere you would see uh, inside your computer. And uh, it's just the same. All you need to do is drag, click and drag it in and uh, wait for it to upload. So once it's all uploaded, you then take this location that you have and this now becomes your URL. However, my uh, URL is a little bit different, so um, it is actually course with elearningbrothers.com in it, and then uh, I reference the index.html, this one right here, and I'll show you that here in the uh, FileZilla here. So we have index.html, and that's the one I reference. So I then will type in index. HTML and be sure um, this is I put this as a second step a whole separate step is to uh, check and make sure that it actually works before you import it into uh, into Captivate go ahead and copy this URL and we're going to use this later on now here in Captivate all you need to do is create a new slide so I'll go ahead and create a blank slide. Once, once you have that, go to uh, Interactions, then Learning Interactions. This will pop up this window here and scroll down to the bottom where you see Web Object. Go ahead and select it and then select Insert. Once you have that, uh, this website window will pop up and just go ahead and put that copied URL right inside the address bar. Once you have that pasted in there, press OK. Wait for it to update, and then now you have it inside your uh, inside your course. Let me go ahead and zoom out a little bit so you can see. And then uh, all you need to do is adjust the window to the size you want it to be. You are then finished. Once you publish it and put it up on a server, it will then, or, or a uh, LMS, it will then work properly and uh, reference this um, this URL that you have that um, that game or interaction in. So that's how you accomplish your HTML5 interactions and putting placing them inside of your Captivate. Thanks for listening and have a nice day.